Hello, hello. My name is Kim Sohuswapia, and I believe in innovation and doing things differently. This video has been prepared for you to guide you through some well-known concepts that will aid your studies and preparations towards exam. Due to COVID, we cannot meet in person to discuss. So I hope this video finds you well and helps you achieve excellence. Thank you. Welcome to this talk on moment. So moment M M E N T E S. I'm sure you all know the formula for moment. So as the formula implies, moment equals force times distance. But that's just the half of it. Actually, moment equals force times perpendicular distance from point of application of a force or point of application of the force to the point about which the moment is taken or moment equals distance between uh, the point of application of a force and the point about which the moment is being taken times the component of the force which is perpendicular to that distance so we'll see what i'm talking about in a bit so let me move this If you have a bar such as this and we have a point somewhere here and then I have a force somewhere here assuming this force is perpendicular to the bar then I would have a distance D between the pivot point O and the point of application of the force may be F. So F is not the point of application but rather the force. So the force is F and then this is the point of application of the force F. If I'm to take the moment about the point O due to this force F, then M, that moment which we, which we just um, talked about, would be equal to the distance d times the component of this force f which is perpendicular to d so we'll have to resolve this force into two components one component here and then one component here understand you've all done a resolution of forces so if you have a force like this or oh, let me draw it diagonally if you have a force like this we can resolve it into its vertical and horizontal components. So that's the same thing I'm doing for this. So imagine this is sort of diagonal. And then we are resolving it into its horizontal and vertical components. If this angle is theta, then this force, the component of the force which is perpendicular to the distance d, is equal to f cos theta and this one is equal to f sine theta now we only take the component which is perpendicular to the distance because the component which is parallel to the distance doesn't do anything you can see that this is parallel to the distance so it's just shifting towards this point you understand so it's not going to cause any turning effect but this is but then but then this force this force the f cos theta is going to cause a turning effect when you apply it it's going to if you keep on applying it and keep it perpendicular to the bar it's going to cause a turning effect you understand 
to make the bar rotate in this direction so long as you keep it perpendicular to the bar you understand yeah so it's going to cause a turning effect so that's why we say it's, it's producing a moment because the moment is basically just the turning effect now another way we can find the moment is with this sorry we have the same bar this is the pivot point o this is the force f the force is perpendicular to the bar now instead of taking this distance maybe d we can just take a distance which is perpendicular to the force you understand a distance between the force the point of application of the force and then the pivot point which is perpendicular to the force so that will be this you understand so let's call this x this distance x so this f m also equals f times x where f is the force and x is the distance the perpendicular distance between the point of application of the force which is here and then the pivot point o or the point about which the moment is taken so force equals um how do i miss it force equals the distance between the point of application of the force and then the moment sorry the point about which the point and uh, the moment is taken times the perpendicular component of the force or the component of the force which is perpendicular to that distance or the force and then its perpendicular distance from the point of application of the force to the point about which the moment is being taken So then let's solve the question and then see how it looks like. 